national heavyweight title. Introducing first the challenger in the red corner from Atlanta, Georgia, 236 pounds, the man with the hands of stone, Ron Garvin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the national heavyweight champion from San Antonio, Texas. 232 pounds, accompanied by his administrative director, James J. Dillon, the national heavyweight champion, Tully Blanchard. The referee is Tommy Young. This is for the national heavyweight title, the champion, Tully Blanchard. The challenger, Ron Garvin, the hands of stone. Dusty, look, his hand is not taped. Well, David, you know we've seen an earlier shot, uh, the split screen dressing room, both men getting ready. Two great condition athletes, and the thing about it was that... Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Yeah, climbing on it. Referee Tommy Young has tried it. I did back off. He goes in. Ah, oh, just like two pit balls. But to answer your question, he has, referee has made him take the tape off. I know the hand of injured. He just wants to wait. And he, uh... It looks like it does not matter to Ron Garvin. He is going to fight. He wants that championship. Right there in the corner. You gotta watch it. You know, we always knew that Ron Garvin had a tremendous amount of not only talent but desire, and he's showing us right here. Oh, he missed. Here he goes to take him. Good hit. All right, here he goes. He scoots out. Now JJ. Garvin goes right after him. But David, that's, that's one thing about Ronnie Garvin. If you if you don't come to him here, go out and get you, brother. I mean, he's ready for the national title, one of the most prestigious titles in wrestling right here. Jim Crockett Sports, Jim Crockett Promotion is bringing the greatest, headbutt. tremendous headbutt. He couldn't use the hand, so he's using the head. Go, 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 Just about. Hey, Tony, it wasn't too long ago when you and I were here at a match involving Tony Blanchard. But the other man was Dusty Rhodes, and the man sitting beside us talking was Ric Flair, and you know what happened there. You too, Dusty. Yeah, believe me, I know it cost me a lot of money, but uh, Ric Flair always has a way of uh, taking care of them. Uh, four Hoffman is only three now, and he's not out here tonight. I am. This is going to be a tremendous, tremendous battle. You know, you could better believe, Dusty, Tully and J.J. realizing how injured the hand is will try to re-injure it as much as they can in this match. Well, you would, I would know that, but I'll tell you what, that man inside that body, uh, Ronnie Garvin's got a heart bigger than the state of Texas, boy. And this is great. Yeah. I've never been out here. This is right he is out here on the away. front row, baby. That mayor takes him over. Sitting up tight. to do the wrestler winning or losing they give him that little bit extra they should they should do david they, they've made my career what it is i owe it all to the fans so they can drive you to do things that are almost inhuman now two great athletes Tully Blanchard, tremendous athletes two different styles two different philosophies on doing things the way they do them ronnie Garvin will be there as long as Tully Blanchard wants to be there Tully Blanchard is the kind that will scoot when the going gets rough he'll ease out you know, go converse with the in instruments that they say James J. Dillon. But the thing is, Ronnie Garvin wants one thing, that's the natural retail. Tell him like wants to keep it. We're here live and in person. Jim Crockett Sports bring it to you right here on the front row. That is right. Ronnie's right. He's got it. He's powering up. Just about. Come on. You can do it. The fans are chanting for Ron Garvin. He's just about got it. They're even. He's got the hair. Rams his head in that turnbuckle. Catches in the midsection now. Starts that pound away. 
These days, rips in there. Garvin comes. Get away. Telling you, hurt it. He hurt the hand. You don't he want to admit it. it. You don't he want to admit it. it, David. But that hand has been hurt for three or four weeks. Very, very, Look very seriously. He's trying to do everything one, yes, one handed now. Now he spins around. He's got to tie him up. He's got to hold him down. But one thing he did after the pain shot through the hand very quickly. He went right back and grabbed Tully again. All right. Now look at him. He's using the elbow and the, the forearm to hold him down. Tully's trying to come up. He realizes what's going on. And Ronnie, Ronnie Jason, the hold is he can tie you up like a pretzel jack at any time. And I'm going to tell you what, he knows the importance, the money, the prestige that is behind this match. This is a big one. Comes up. Drops it right across the chest. Look at JJ steering. What can he do? Charlie's trying to come up. Oh, he went right after him. Now he's up. You know what it's called? It's called intensity. It's called the National Wrestling Alliance. It's called the greatest athletes in the world of sports today, and they're led by world champions. He's having to take yes, the title. Right. Right Look at him. Yeah. He can't take it. Yeah, he's he can't calling it. Yeah. He can't use the right yeah. hand. You know what he said? He said, how about your mama tell about this right there? Yeah. Still holding that right hand, David and Jesse. That's right. He's got to use the head now. Head lets him again. Tully goes down. I believe Tully's got a little laceration too over that right eye, as I can see from here. Over that left eye. He's all over his head now, Jack. Boy, he is dazed. He is in big trouble right now. Look at JJ. Here he goes across. Oh. That dog a hunt right there. Get it? Yeah, that dog a hunt. Oh, look at Tully. Try to fight it. Try to get to the ropes. The garment's got him backed in. Wait a minute. Look at JJ. JJ wants to help him. David, he needs to move him out in the middle. This has happened to me and Rick Flair on, on several occasions. The, the world heavyweight champion that rules the National Wrestling Alliance. The champion that he is, and he needs to take him out in the middle of the ring, brother. Uh, if he can't get him out in the middle, he's going to stomp on him right there at the ropes. Ah, uh, JJ! What's the matter, JJ? One! Oh, oh. That's just as good as a fist right there. Okay. There you go. See, he's going to use anything he's got to take it for. Again, he can't, does he can't tie him up the way he wants to because of that hand. Well, any time you break down, we said this on several occasions, any time you break it down a part of a man's body, that's what it's all about. Ronnie Garvin starting with a bad limb, and a bad limb is, that makes him about 90%, but his heart is 150%. That's what's going to drive Ronnie Garvin to be the national heavyweight champion right here live today, and I'm glad I'm here, Jack. Goes up. Takes it right in. Whoa, baby. Again, you got to give Tully some credit because he was taking a tremendous beat and he kicked out of there. What an athlete. Both men. The best are right here. There's no doubt, David Crockett and Tony Schiavone, that these two men are two tremendously fine condition athletes, and that's why. Tell him, Blanchard, believe me. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that, that's your thing, J.J. Dillon. That's the thing right there. Bends him back. Now, look okay. here. Taking that forearm, rubbing it across the back of the neck. Hold him down. You know, David, we've said this many times, a lot of pain, of course, in Ron Garvin's hand, but he's a man that can dish out pain as well as anybody. That's right. I, fans, we've got to go for a break. The tape machines are rolling. So if anything...